to the human being who has the image of God. No matter how great an authority is, it cannot defeat the authority of God. Likewise, God created the sons of God who were created in God's image, originally had the spiritual authority and ruled over various authorities. If we are educated in the image of God, our spiritual authority will be restored. Then we will neither go for nor follow the worldly powers. And the reason why we can now uh, uh, we can think about Jesus, his ministry. He can command to the spirit, right? The ruler, the court, the kingdom of the earth. He can command, get away, get away from that person. He goes. The devil is the spiritual, right? And Jesus, who has the image of God, it means he is the human being. He already received every authority from God. So that's why he can command to the spirit. They have to know them where they are standing and who they are. And then they have to learn these basic tools. Without their true identity, if they just keep learning the basic tools to live on the earth, they are on the feet. They have to play like a household. God allowed to them to learn this basic truth, to live their life on this earth. And they learn the basic truth. They just need to learn the basic truth through the uh, study to live in this earth. But we have to learn and know the word of God. That's why I call the children. Every instructor, you have to be trained well in the school and in the church. But if you only serve God as your team, and if you have the image of God, the other people, even who is greater than you, the people must help and serve you because of that image of God. But we have to serve only the source of the God, the Lord, the God. So when we read the Bible verse, we shouldn't interpret. Of course, the first, the basic thing, there is the physical meaning, of course. When you are baby, spiritually, you only can interpret the Bible verse as the physical thing. The creature that moves on the ground means there are so many people who are trained to well about their knowledge and emotion and their will, and so that they have a successful life in their hearts. But when you recover the image of God, you will also rule over that people. So the King David era, the other nations who have so many things, good things, gold or some good material things to build a temple, they will bring it for the Israel. To the poor of Israel. Do you understand? Israel, they do not have that such things. But God used the other nations and they bring all the material things for the time so that they can build the time. Those who are created in the image of God, they do not work hard. They do not need to work hard to obtain authority over material things, authority over spirit. The uh, birds of the air, an authority over people that moves around the world. But they are the ones given to men from birth. What I mean is the authority over material things, the fish, and authority over spirit, the birds, and authority over people that creatures move around them, on the ground. They are given to men from birth. Because the man was created in the image of God, the Trinity. And as Jesus did, we also can do it. And even Jesus said, you can do many things much more than I have done. Right? 
because he just show you. The Jesus still want wanted to show you what is a what human being need, and when you recover the image of God. So that's why you can say. So first, man was created in the image of God, the Trinity, who is the Word itself, in whom the Word became flesh, and who testifies to the Word. So that's why we can shine the light in the world, not because of our our knowledge or our flesh, because of the Word itself, we can shine in the darkness world. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For giving us the opportunity to find our true identity by listening to the gospel. We can understand our true identity. And we can understand what a human being is. By listening to the word of God, we can recover, we can live, we can born again as a new person who has the image of